The Becky Buller Band asks, what would you do for your blue chip pick? You took it in there with you. My name is Nate Lee. You have my blue chip pick. Prepare to die. You should keep the blue chip pick as you wish. Are blue chip picks really that good? Professor Dan Boner explains. So as you can see from the figure, a complete cycle is quite unnecessary for the recognition of the sound source. Only the initial transient pressure change from A to B is required. The time of arrival of the transient at the two ears will be different and will locate cause, i.e. the source laterally within around a millisecond or so. Following the event which generated the transient, the air pressure equalizes itself along line B through F. The period of time between B and F varies and allows the listener to establish the likely size of the sound source. Only after the recognition of the source from the transient with the added benefit of stronger clarity in the recognizable pitch area of the time domain. Yes, Adam? And, uh, I have found in, in my time of, of working with blue chip picks that uh, oftentimes a pick can be a little brutal in its tone and presentation. Uh, I found blue chip picks are piquant yet not overbearing with a smooth, woodsy finish. Would you agree? See me after class. Yep. What would you do for your blue chip pick? <laughs>